Welcome to another edition of My Opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And this morning we have a very disturbing news um, where an 81-year-old grandmother, blind grandmother, a lot of persons are unaware that she's blind, and her two grandchildren were murdered in Charlotte, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, this uh, um, yesterday. Now, if you want to know where Charlotte is, it's off Sligoville Main Road, and it's surrounded by Lauriston, Greendale, St. Jago Heights, and those places. Now, if you're going into Kingston from the Spanish Town Hospital, it's right after you pass the bridge on your left hand side, you turn and you go all the way down the Sligoville Road. If you're coming from Kingston, when you pass the police academy as you come down, you'll make a right turn on that Sligoville Road and you go all the way down and that Sligoville Road. So this community of Trialite, a very peaceful community over the years. Um, I've never seen anything like this before. And for an 81 year old grandmother and her two grandchildren murdered, the whole community is in shock as we speak. And I'm reading from the Gleanet, understand that gunman barged into the home of the senior citizen, Iselin McFarlane, at about 4.30 and shot her and her granddaughters, 10-year-old Christina McFarlane and 6-year-old Michelle, several times before escaping in a waiting motor car. McFarlane and her granddaughters died before they could even be taken to hospital. Both children attended the Spanish Town Primary School where they were described as disciplined children. Now, the father, these two ch children, is the only child for the father. The girls live with their grandmother, who was affectionately called Miss Icy. Now, based on information coming, is that they went to a, a, um, a particular house of a relative before they kicked the door down, he was not there. And then they went by the house where the grandmother and the kids were and they decided to take the kids and the grandmother's life. Now, my argument is what could inspire you to take the life of a blind 81-year-old woman and two innocent kids? Two innocent kids who's totally oblivious to whatever problems you have with other persons. Now, these set up um, persons are the most vulnerable, the elderly and the children. And how would you feel this morning waking up after committing such a gruesome act of taking the lives of an innocent, blind 81 year old lady and her two grandchildren? This 81 year old lady, you'd more likely be feeling like her life would have been lost based on natural sickness or maybe an accident but for her at 81 year old to be taken out by the bullets of gunmen is another situation the two children haven't started to live in a life they just started to grow and they are the future and when you wipe out the future what are you saying um the council for the area uh, is asking for more community policing and we hope that the police will do their investigation as they have always been doing they will come to some conclusion they will find the perpetrators and bring them to justice but at the end of the day this is such a very sad day in Jamaica where a 81 year old Miss Icy and her two grandchildren were taken away by persons who decided whatever situation they have, um, they saw it fit to take these persons alive, these two children and their grandmother. Now, I don't know what has happened. I don't know the situation, but based on what I'm hearing on the ground, is the situation is like, if you can't catch Quaka, you catch him shot. And that is, a very sad, sad steal. But 
for the last couple of days it has been hell and powder house in jamaica three men were killed in saint Anne um, over the weekend now for three persons to be murdered in saint catherine as i said a 81 year old blind lady and her grandkids you know we hope that this when will this senseless killing stop when will people have respect for life when will people look at some things and really put an end to this we hope the minister of national security and other persons will come out and find a way to solve this and we hope civil society will consistently condemn acts like these but as i said it's a sad morning not not a day to talk much and we hope all of this situation there will be some remedy to the crime situation in jamaica but let me know what you think in the comment section don't forget to like share subscribe and click the notification bell so as soon as that video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified until next time be safe protect the children protect the children and tell them you love them until next time be safe have a good day